Can I do it? 44 minutes to shop. Let's go. I am in a pumped up mood. I have been, this is my 10th antique mall. You know I love going to 10 antique malls in one day. More importantly, I've spent $499 on all the amazing stuff I got, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Let's go in and see what they got. All right, I'm trying to come back down to earth a little bit. <laughs> I came in with way too much excitement. It's really, really quiet in here. <laughs> um, wow, this is kind of neat. All right, let me not get too weird. I bought some really weird stuff today and I'm super into it. I'm also super into everything that's happening here. Stuff skunk. Oh, it's a hand puppet, $10. Oh, you know puppets don't sell that well for me, even though those ones are really cute. Is this a little lamb? Um, Lead, little Bo Peep. How interesting. Fifteen dollars. Huh, that's really cool. I would buy that for myself for sure. This booth has completely changed since I've been here last. I love the poodle lipstick holder and this cow set. That's a really awesome one. Fifteen dollars for this set is super fair price. I feel like I sold them for twelve dollars each before. I also kind of like this pink leaf ashtray. Oh, it's a double dish. Hmm. I kind of thought it was one. That would have been neat. What are these little cat salt and pepper shakers? How much are they? $10 firm. That's a little bit more than I'd like to spend on those. I haven't seen them before though. Hmm. Oh my gosh, the dolphins. $4 firm. Hmm. Something's off about those ones. And I looked at the fish before. Can't remember what was wrong with it. Something was wrong with it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that thing really alarmed me. I love this hobbyist bunny with the neon paint. You really want that barrette? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I never see vintage hair clips. $15, that's definitely uh, more than I'd like to spend. I love the brooch with the, the rhinestone with the bee, the bee with the rhinestone, you know what I mean. Um, they have this really silly roll here. I mean, it's not their fault. I'm just calling it like it is, it's silly. Uh, the day, well, maybe not on a day like today, it's silly, just because there's nobody in here except for like me and one other person, but they close all the cases 30 minutes before closing, so I unfortunately can't really get anything from a case, because there's only a couple minutes till that happens. Wow, look at this German egg, and 25% off, so that would be seven dollars and fifty cents it's past easter but that's a really good deal wait there's more stuff over here i'm gonna hold out look at this tiffany blue how much is this i love that color so much 15 that's a really good price after the discount especially still a little bit more than i'd like to spend and i love the cherries 22 is about what i sold that for where i about what i got for it after fees i should say i think i sold it for like 26 the last time i had it oh this wasn't here the last time that's really appealing <laughs> i love the yellow well, i see jewelry that's not in cases so i'm making my way over fortunately it's a little lackluster I like the van gogh bangle well i have like two minutes before they call it so i quickly ran to get the key because there's a couple things going in here flamingo um poodle hedgehog the hedgehog really has my attention so i was lucky enough to grab the porcupine and the flamingo uh, before they closed the cases yes i am simultaneously shopping i do not have long oh my gosh oh I'm starting to feel the day of shopping and not to mention it was 90 degrees today. Finally, a booth that I recognize. They've gotten rid of so many booths that uh, I used to shop at at the beginning. Maybe they just moved. It's been a while since I've been here. I feel like the past couple times I've gone to yesteryear, I haven't had time to come here. I love this booth though. I think this vendor also has a booth at yesteryear. Yes, this is the booth at yesteryear where we get so much stuff. Although that doesn't really say much, does it? We get, we get a lot of stuff at yesteryear. Oh, I love the owls. More jewelry. I love seeing jewelry not in cases. Uh, a lot of it is newer, but it's kind of mixed in. This is kind of neat. Six dollars. Ooh. I like this one. 1960s, 10. 
So that's eight. That's a really good price, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Oh my gosh, I love this. That's great. Okay, look at this green. Oh my gosh, I love this. $15, hand painted, hand blown too, 20% off, so 12. I think I could make some money off that. Not a lot, but it's really pretty. So I'm gonna get it, cause I really like it. And I've done really well today, so I think I can pay a dollar or two more than I normally would. All right, so 50% off marked items only, which means over here usually. What about this? This is really pretty. I love that color, $12. Uh, it's more than I'd like to pay for that. I'm already paying up for the green glass. I feel like that's worth it though, the little rose bowl. Hmm, I'm not seeing anything else in this booth. And you know I love this booth. I, <laughs> I'm gonna do both sides, of course, but they have such fun little stuff. Like this little cat's only $4 and that's Japan. Okay, but also the little celluloids. Oh my gosh, that's so fantastic. It's supposed to be in a ring. $4.25 a celluloid parrot though, still in good condition. Uh, I'm in the mood. I'm gonna get it. And let's see, I like the duck. $4.25, that's got a crack. They usually do, that's the thing. And the cow's got a crack too. Yeah, it's kind of fantastic that the bird doesn't have a crack, right? Yeah, I think this is like probably the only one that's not cracked. I know I've looked at a lot of them before. More vintage cards. Look at how cute this Easter card is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's only a dollar. Today is my birthday. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Uh, I like the one that's a pop-up. All right, should I get this? I should, but alas. I'm kind of papered out. I've gotten, I got some paper stuff today and I normally don't do that. I paid up for it too. Oh my gosh, did I? All right, I've gotten my first 30 minute warning. Oh, look at this strawberry skirt. That is so much fun. Oh my gosh, it's like an entire outfit. 1970s strawberry dress. It's really fun. I don't see a discount in this booth, but I love this 1950s piggy bank. And I never really see it in that size and it's in really great condition. Usually they're pretty beat up for $9. I am gonna go ahead and grab that. Wow, he's epic. Ooh, this little squirrel. There's that mushroom chalkware again. 15. Yeah, that one was 17. Otherwise, I definitely would have picked that up. No discount. So awesome. Oh my gosh. Wait, stop. They have more. The frogs. This, the mushroom's really the best, but at $17, I really don't think I can do much with that. It's probably about what I'd get for it after fees. Same with the happy flower at 21. Oh, that's painful to leave behind. What's going on over here? I really like the glass elephant. That kind of looks like a shipping nightmare for me though. $13, I'm gonna leave that be. Um, these ashtrays are kind of neat, but it's for all of them. I don't want all of them. It's like not for $22. What is this? Made in India, interesting. What is happening down here? Soaps, 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 koala bears. Okay, this is what interests me. Little miniatures, candles, dog, Coca-Cola, the little dogs. Oh, I hate shipping those though. I hate buying them. I get nervous I'm gonna break them. All right, oh, there's more over here. Oh my gosh, this is fun. I like this style. Definitely a little time consuming to go through. Let's see, I don't see anything in the first. What is this? Oh, there's Scotty dogs. I thought they were skunks. Let's see. No. Oh, gosh, that's annoying. I guess it's one way to get a bunch of stuff on your shelves, though. That's the dog and fire hydrant. $10 cast iron. That's a really good price. Someone's going to be mad at me for leaving that. I already know, but I don't see a discount. I don't want to pay $10 for it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't really see anything else. And then these are all beaded ornaments. Oh, I love the whale toothbrush holder. Oh my gosh, look at this one. That's hilarious. And of course, the only things I'm seeing are in locked cases. I love those little miniature class birds. Oh, that is obnoxious. All right, well, let's see what else they got. Glass strawberry. It's kind of nice. Nearing the end, just giving the uh, jewelry a quick once over. Haven't really found anything in here today. I mean, I found a couple things, but at least, uh, I mean, it moved very quickly. I was nervous about time, but uh, pretty much what you guys saw is everything I kind of looked at, which is rare. Usually it's hard not to spend a lot of time in here. It's just like a lot of stuff that's not my style. This is really pretty, $4, but I get those all the time at Old Glory. Look at this, this is kind of pretty. Black glass with the hand-painted roses, $6.50. I'm a little nervous about the paint chipping on that, maybe. Just gonna make sure there's no fun children's hankies. I feel like I did this before, actually. I think they're all floral. Yeah, they're all floral. Even that one that looks like it might be children's themed. I see some like zebra hair. Oh, that's not what I thought it was at all. Yeah, this might be it. Ah, there's another curly Kate. <laughs> I love these. 14. That's a really pretty jewelry casket. 23. Whoa. I've never seen an Armand Marcel doll like that. 75. No discount. Oh my gosh. I honestly think that's a really good prize. I've never seen a composition one. Only porcelain bisque. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, here's some more plastic ashtrays. These are really fun. I wish they were more colored though. Seven dollars. It's a really good price. Um, the black one didn't sell well for me. In fact, I got stuck with two of them. <laughs> but, uh, oh, vintage Bambi. That's cute. Frosted glass ones in colors. Let's see. Six dollars. Yeah. I'm a little underwhelmed. I think I'm shopped out, maybe. What's that? I'm like, I'm shopped out. And then I'm like, what's that? Oh my gosh. It's stone fish. That's really neat. Last man standing. I came, I saw, I conquered. I spent $39 in there, which means I went to 10 antique malls today and I spent a whopping $38. Wait, that's not right. $538, excuse me. Uh, I had a great time. I'm gonna go hit the road, maybe get some ramen, cause who doesn't want hot soup after 10 hours of antiquing in 90 degree weather? <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.